Let's look at the things you'll need. A yarn stitch holder. If you don't have a yarn stitch holder, you can use a pen or a pencil. You will need your fingers, of course. And of course, some chunky wool. You can use double knitting, two balls of double knitting as well. Take the end of your wool and place it between your thumb and your first finger, your index finger. And then you can start to cast on by winding the wool around your fingers. And you go back again and you do this twice so that you end up with two rows. You bring it back and you hold it with your thumb. Look at that, two rows. So now we have our two rows, we can start knitting. And the process is very simple. So starting from our little finger, we're going to take the bottom row and over and off. So it's going to go over the top row and off. Bottom over and off. Bottom over and off. And you're bringing the finger through. It's like bringing your finger through the loop. So there we go. You've just knitted the first one. Now, there is another way that you can do this, and that's by bringing the wool all the way across your fingers, and you actually now knit again. So you take the bottom and you take it over and off, making sure that you're bringing it over the new row that you've just taken across your hand. And this can be quite quick as well, so you might find this an easier method. You bring it back over, and again, then you would knit over that new row. So bring it under and over and off. Under, over and off. Under, over and off. So what happens now if we want to join another color to our knitting? So you take the new thread and you place it over your first finger, your index finger. You take the existing thread and you take it over. Now you wrap the new thread over your first finger and in between your first finger and your middle finger. And then you take the existing wool thread and you take it under. So you effectively are creating a knot. Then you take the two ends and you gently pull them together. And there you go. Now you have connected a new color to your knitting. Now, you're just going to knit as normal. Let's speed things up and just look at this. And over time, you'll find that you'll start to create the rope. And if you pull the wool very carefully, look at that. Amazing. Look at that. So if you want to take a break, get your yarn stitch holder, or you can use a pen or a pencil too, and make sure that you've knitted up to the end of your index finger. And then you take the ends and you take off each of the loops from your finger and there you have it, nicely held, safe and secure, and you can go off and you can go and have a break. Nice chance to have a look at the rope as well, and you can feel that groove with your thumb. So when you start again, that groove is gonna be very important. So once you're back from your break, you want to make sure now that you identify which way to hold the wool or to put the wool back on so you want that groove to be facing away from your hand and you can feel that groove again with your thumb and then it's very easy you just open up um, the yarn stitch holder or if you're using a pencil and you carefully put each of the loops back on to your four fingers just take care with this just do it slowly you'll find that it will go on very easily. No need to rush. And then once you've got them onto your fingers, you'll then be able to start knitting again. So when we've finished, what we're going to do is we're going to start with our little finger and we're going to take it across onto our ring finger. And then you're going to knit. So bottom 
over and off. Now you take from the ring finger and you put it onto your middle finger and bottom row over and off. And then you take from your middle finger to your index finger, bottom row over and off. So now it's left on your finger. You now create a loop and you take that loop through the loop on your index finger and then you take the end of the thread and through that final loop that you have and you can pull that and then that closes off the end of your rope. Look at that. And now you can do something very similar on the other end. You create a loop, you take it through and you put the tail end through that and you pull that tight as well and you end up with the knot. And there you go. Look at that. Your completed rope.